Okay. okay, and within the NBFC space, you have both MM Finance and Manapuram Finance, which are doing well right now. So let's take that theme forward. In fact, it was a strong showing from Manapuram Finance. The loan growth is the highest ever, while gold holdings too are at record levels. So you had a loan growth of over 35%. VP Nandukumar, the MD and CEO of Manapuram Finance, joins us now. Uh, Mr. Nandukumar, good morning. I remember when we spoke with you the last time, you had indicated that loan growth will continue to be above 30%, but this has been remarkable the growth this quarter tell us what led to it and is this you know a level that you can sustain in the last quarter of the fiscal see it, uh, our targeted growth in gold had been around 10 12 percent so uh, th th uh, three quarters we could achieve a ton this is the tonnage growth three quarters we could achieve uh, a growth of 11 percent that is uh, what is on uh, expected lines only Probably uh, the, during the last quarters, we may, we may be able to reach yeah three more four percent higher growth uh, in tonnage. So uh, that, that has been good, but we have we have been helped out by the price increase of the metal gold. Mm. So that has led to the volume growth to this level. So the, that was the major reason for this. Okay. The uh, other businesses uh, like uh, uh, microfinance, uh, they, uh, they have also grown. They have grown uh, pretty well, mm -hmm. and uh, the asset quality is also maintained mm -hmm. in this difficult hour for uh, the NBOC industry. Both gold industry and microfinance industry are faring uh, better. I would say that. Mm. Yeah, actually, you have ticked higher on all. Uh, 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 products even on CV, though of course gold is uh, your big uh, sector. Uh, Mr. Nandakumar, uh, are you looking at uh, generally more demand continuing going forward? This time you were uh, helped by higher gold prices, but what about the demand on the ground? Uh, demand also seen better uh, during the last three quarters. Mm -hmm. So, I hope uh, during the last quarter also the demand may be maintained. Okay. And what about asset quality in the non-gold space? In gold, of course, you can't go wrong. Your collateral is as good as gold. Uh, but uh, in the other spaces, uh, do you notice any problems of uh, uh, repayment or is it getting better? <laughs> See, non-gold segment microfinance, yes, uh, the, uh, the recovery is slightly less. Uh, yes, this is because of the natural calamities like flood in some places. In some districts of Karnataka, there are some uh, political issues, some local politics, local politicians uh, yes, uh, interfere with the collections, etc., etc. But uh, the, that also the companies, uh, microfinance companies association, MFIN, is, uh, and the companies themselves are very confident of resolving. I think uh, uh, if uh, uh, these are done, the collection may remain around 99%. Uh, this is what we believe. Okay. So, so we don't have much concerns about that. Sure. Uh, so just coming back to, you know, the sustainability of the AUM growth. Over the last three years, if you look at it, the gold AUM growth uh, on a compounded basis has seen about a 9% growth. Over the next two years, given all the changes in the industry, etc., the demand is picking up. What kind of uh, sustainable growth do you expect? So, our expectation is around 10 to 15 percent growth. Uh, so, uh, the last, uh, if you take the last four years, there had been several challenges. One, uh, the, there had been uh, the, the, the sweeping changes in the regulation, capping LTV, etc. Then the demonetization has come, GST implementation. All have crippled uh, the, the uh, uh, market where we are in. So it is slowly picking up. Uh, post GST, post uh, demonetization, it is slowly picking up. So, in the next couple of years, I am targeting a growth of around 10-18% uh, in tonnage. What is your cost of funds and has it fallen lately even more? Uh, recently, we have raised uh, uh, $300 million as overseas bonds. So, uh, the 
uh, all inclusive cost is around that 11.6 percent. Even though the coupon rate was around 5.6 uh, 5.9 percent, uh, the because of the hedging cost, everything all inclusive cost is around 11.6 percent. So that cost was uh, this is, at, uh, is high. It's a, a three-year paper, uh, but. Uh, <laughs> domestic cost uh, is uh, easy uh, because the bank's lending rate uh, yeah, uh, it is slightly it has slightly come down it is around 9.25 percent now mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> the CP rates is down CP rates is down to uh, mm -hmm. below this percent why so did you do, why did you do the um, overall, why did you do the dollar loan then? I mean, it's a 200 basis point difference. So, yeah, you are right. But uh, the thing is, uh, yeah, the the sectoral liquidity pressure uh, cannot be ignored. Okay. In BOC sector, there is a uh, uh, yeah, uh, liquidity pressure. Even though we did in phase, mm -hmm. we thought uh, better to be safe, safe. Okay. with around 300 million dollars borrowed from outside. Okay. So, is there scope for a further deterioration in the asset quality for the MFI business? I am asking because the last two to three years have been pretty strong, but now challenges have cropped up and asset quality has deteriorated in this quarter. But um, is there more pain ahead before things get better? So, the, the, it, it is not there. Uh, yeah, even though, yes, uh, our op see, uh, asset quality uh, may only improve, this is what we hope, uh, but we, uh, we have done few things. So, uh, earlier our uh, geographical spread, what we have decided uh, as a part of risk mitigation, in no state uh, in the country, our exposure uh, uh, shall be more than 10% of our AEM. This has been already implemented. And now we are seeing that uh, the, uh, the political challenge is not at the state level, uh, at the, some of the district level, local level. So what you have decided, uh, yeah, in no district our exposure shall be more than 1% now. And uh, with a direction to the management to bring it down to half a percent in another three years. So. With that uh, geographical spread, uh, I think uh, the, these challenges can be addressed. Another challenge we faced is the natural calamity. During the last one year, uh, there had been floods in many places, etc. That also has delayed. So, a well, lot of things are uh, done, yes, uh, in the risk management also. We are analyzing district ways, pin code ways, etc. Then I'm giving emphasis to uh, uh, collection more. Uh, so, with all these measures, I don't think the asset quality will deteriorate any further. Asset quality will, uh, I hope. Well, it will get only improved. Okay. okay. Well, it's a pleasure speaking with yeah. you, Mr. Nandakumar. Thank you very much indeed for joining us uh, with a lot of details about your numbers. Uh, that's Manapuram up about 2%. And of course, the stock had already risen yesterday when the numbers came in. Uh, now seeking a little more uh, uh, yes. bullishness. And Eminem mm -hmm. Financial is now up 7